Alright, now, uh, coming to you live, um, we have here another episode of Tales of the Vaults of the Octopus Macabre. <laughs> The Handlebar Mustachioed Praying Mantis from the Lost City of Atlantis, having been brought by Antilopus Freebird McCarthy in his bright sky blue meatloafed time traveling machine, <laughs> to the town of Shoreline, Bristol, where Cisco Nebrisco was building for the Octopus Macabre, a state-of-the-art catnip museum, where and within all the many and true penny variously attenuated to, to retrograde retinues of reacclimated zoology. By Metro, let's go proxy, would be displayed behind Rhine imported glass. <laughs> the handlebar mustachioed praying mantis had only now and did and we now and did let down his hair <laughs> and traveled, attended by homo sapien sparrows, to foreign lands of San Rut Port O oh, please, please, please come home. My sister in law is a podiatrist who taught me the crafts of the archetypal poem. Antigamous Freebird McCarthy tells she, her, or lady he'd be back from his following jaunt and maybe an hour's abbreviated time. <laughs> he telling no one, not a single one among the Pringle chewing gringos, that he was going to teach Herod, Puncture's pilot, and Napoleon Bonaparte a lesson in high-born etiquette. <laughs> and now we come to a brief intermission, in, in, not intermission, intermission, and when we will regale you again forthwith with another episode of Tales from the Octopus macabre.